What's going on guys, Mr. Pipes here. As you can probably notice my lack of hair. And that's because I got tired of it. And uh, I just wanted to say thanks to uh, Bald Cafe. If you have not watched any of his stuff, I highly recommend it. If you are a person that has lost hair and does not want to do, you know, minoxidil or any type of hair transplant because he has a whole video on the side effects and why he does not do them so I highly suggest that you come check it uh, check it out and uh, like I said it's Bald Cafe real nice guy he's from he's from the UK he lives in uh, China and I believe he's moving back to the UK or he's already there but um but anyway we are we haven't done a uh, regular like sit down pipe smoking video in a while. Uh, I have my Dr. Graybo uh, pipe and uh, buddy Steven over here. Brother Steven has a what you got? Maduro. Maduro one. Yeah. And then threw that away. But but it's the red the red label one with the Maduro. The B I H I A Bahia or Baha. Yeah, it's a Nicar Nicaraguan tobacco uh, cigar. Very good um, Maduro, um, which I highly recommend if you are a Maduro smoker. It's got a little bit of the, what would you say it has? It has, definitely has leather. Yeah. It has a little bit of chocolate, very little chocolate. And then it does kind of have a spicy, peppery taste to yeah. it. And um, like I said, if you're into that, it's I believe the catalog it said it was a very it was either a mild or medium cigar. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it was a full bodied cigar. Um, but if you are a mild to medium bodied cigar smoker, I highly recommend those. And uh, I haven't smoked a pipe in about maybe, probably about a few months now. I've been doing oh, yeah. mostly cigars. And uh, today I decided to dust off my old pipe collection. Well, not really dust off. I keep them. I keep this one in a. Um, in a. Um, what's it called? It's. Um, What's that, what was that? What's that box called? It's got a proper name to it, but it's an old style box, and it has that slanted. It's a writing desk type box, and you put your parchment, your papers in there back in the old days, and you flip it open, and it has that slant. Row back desk or row top desk, something like that. Um, but I keep my nice pipes in that, the ones that I really, really like in that box, and uh, my buddy Every got me that. Who works at with me at the store, and uh, he goes antiquing a lot. And I like to buy, I like to find old antiques, especially um, anything like pipe related, pipe antique, you know, like old pipes, um, antique pipe stands, pipe holders, things like that. Um, <clears throat> so those are the kind of things I look out for when I'm at a. Um, antique store, pawn shop, anything like that. But like I said, today I got up the old Dr. Graybo, which is a good pipe. Um, he is a he lives in I believe he makes his and lives in North Carolina. I'm not sure exactly where, but he's a North Carolinian, which we are right here. Yep. I got some uh, Cornell. And Deli's apricot cream is not as good as apricot brandy, but close to it. Not e well, not really not even really close. close. Not yeah. even close. Oh, okay. Apricot brandy. Like I haven't had it in such a long time because they don't make it anymore. Mm. Um, they don't. I don't even think they make copies of it. And apricot brandy is just. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. There's no cream, but there's a little bit of brandy in there. But it's more 
it screams aromatic, but it's very Ooh. sweet. Ooh. Apricot cream is more... It has more of a dense type of a taste to it. It's... Um... It's not as rich as you would think, you know. So, when you smoke it, it is good. Don't get me wrong, it is good. But, it, as you can see, it's... It's it's black. It's like if you buy chocolate mousse, it's black. It's a black tobacco. Um, there's very I don't even know if there's any. There's no lot of key in it. There's absolutely no. I don't even think it's burly. I think it's all black Cavendish. It's all black Cavendish tobacco, but it's, it's still good. But not as good as apricot brandy. Um, I believe. What were the ones that made Frog Horton Cellar? I can't remember. I can't remember the the the, the company's name, but they they're the ones that produce Frog Morton Cellar, which they don't produce anymore because they went out of business, like how Dunhill is. And um, but I'm gonna give this a crack. Smells good. You still get the fruit smell of it, mm -hmm. but it's not. <clears throat> well, there might be some burly in here, but very little. More black Cavendish. Hopefully, I can get more of it in the pipe. You don't want to press your tobacco, you know, in, in the pipe. You want to basically kind of funnel it in. Use the tips of your fingers to push it down. Use the pad of your thumb to help get the rest of it down. And you want to take your tamper. And you want to... Press it down. You guys probably already know this, but I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to do my step by step. Now, you can do this as many times as you want, depending on how big the bowl is. Usually, you do it around once or twice. I'm going to test the draw. Oh, yeah. That means I can fill it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to tamp it down and then go from there. There's one flame mark that we can not really give it a good look at. Mm -hmm. It's over there in Sevierville. We only been to it one time, and we bought Mama some Elvis trading cards there, and we didn't <laughs> had a chance to go back. But they may have a, um, antiques and pots and things there. We ain't never... I mean, it's a big... You have to literally go of a morning, and it will literally take you all day to go through it. Because, yeah. I mean, it is like, what, 72,000 square feet? Oh, yeah. Something like that. It's the biggest, <clears throat> biggest flea market that I've seen over there. We've never really been, um, really, not really had a chance to go through it. We always... Never get to go to it. We've only been like to it once, and that was we saw those Elvis trading cards. We picked those up, but never really see what they offer. It's over there in Sevierville, right outside of Pigeon Forge, right before you hit the interstate. So there is a possibility that they got some shops in there that we need to check out. I know there's. That one flea market across from Uncle Bill C's. Oh, no, I went I in there one time. No, I didn't like that one. That call, it's a Aunt Fanny. That one with the red building. I think so. Yeah, it's like you go in and yeah. I just didn't like the vibe. It was just not... To me, it didn't seem like a friendly... Kind of like not really a friendly... I don't know. Just the way the attitude of the person was and then it says you can't use the bathroom unless you're a customer and I almost had an accident on myself and I wasn't buying nothing I was just in there and 
I was like, eh. I won't be back at that one. <laughs> I mean, some people might like it, but I, to me, it just, I, I just didn't get a good vibe from it. I mean, you know, it was, it had, you know, it does have a wide selection. It's just, I, I don't know. It just, that was my first time going in there, and it just, I think, is it the old barn looking? Yeah, it's like I'm red. talking about, I think the one next to oh, it. Oh, the, and I think that one's, uh, yeah, that one's actually. Because I went to that one. And then there's the other one. The barn. I went, I went there one time, <clears throat> and she, I said, you guys got any pipes? And she goes, oh yeah, I got some in the, I got some in here, and I got more in boxes. I'm an all year um, flea market, but I got a, I got most of it in boxes still, and I'm still unpacking. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I said, well, is there any way I can leave you my number, and you can call me when you get to those boxes? And she goes, well, mm. I, do, I don't want to take your number and not call you, because I right. may find them, and I may not. I don't know. Right. And I was like, well, that's fair. That's fair. I don't want to, you know, because right. that's fair. I, she, well, I said, well, when do you think you'll probably find them? She goes, oh, I have no idea, honey. Yeah. It might take me months. It might even take me years. I said, yeah. man, you must have a lot of stuff. She goes, oh, yeah. Mm. I said, well, I will be back. And I gave her, I think, about two years. I think I haven't been there about a year yeah. or two. And I would like to go this year and see if there's any, if she has any good yeah. ones. Mm. But she said, yeah, oh, yeah, you're welcome to come on back, sweetheart. You're, you're welcome yeah. to come on back. It's rare to see young and smoking pipes. Yeah. And that's they're a crack pipe. And I oh, go, yeah, you see them everywhere. I say, yeah, I'm not much of a crack smoker. I, I don't have the taste no. for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's but. bad, bad news. But. And then Uncle Bill's is not completely got the vendors this year i mean it's like a slow slow well, season it, it might that plus you know the heat and everything yeah. like i said if i could get because normally off, I'd, I'd probably go up in there and because you know because normally that place has got yeah. vendors like all oh, i mean every table is full but this year it just seems like People just kind of giving up on flea markets now. They just. I love flea markets. You can oh, find yeah. a good deal. I need to go in and get my dang good lighter. Because that one's getting windy. I was going to use that right. one, but it's too windy for it. So excuse yeah. me for a minute. <laughs> I look at myself without hair, the more I like it. <laughs> well, it's a lot cooler, too. It's a lot you cooler. Know, you don't have to be hot. I've been thinking about taking mine off, but I saw myself one time without <laughs> hair, and it looked a little, I don't know, <laughs> just didn't look right. Well. But during the summer, I mean, you just, you just don't want hair, but. <laughs> I want to catch an auction again, because that's where Dad got those, you know, the pipes that's at the house. Yeah. That's where he got them, was at the um, um, auction. House. At first, I thought you said, I want to catch an ostrich again. I was uh, like, what? <laughs> no, but it's, you know, the pipes that I've got at yeah, the house, that, that's where he got them. That was at an auction house. And that's that auction house that's out there like going to the high bridge, high bridge where we went fishing out there. Now you can't go fishing out there unless you got a boat now. It is yeah. completely, there is no bank. Right? There's absolutely no bank out there now. If you know where we parked the Jeep and walked down, mm -hmm. this time it's just all water. There's not a bank nowhere. 
we went down there the other day and <clears throat> it's it's completely <coughs> completely up. It's got where you can't really fish in there now unless you do have a boat like five. <laughs> I'm just not wanting to get out in the boat. Unless I got a person that really knows what you're doing. You might have to definitely have to have life jackets. I really want to get up there and drown. Well, that's it. Swim. I can just go around and pedal, but you know, as long as it's not. As long as it's not neck deep, I can get out in the water. But if it's way over my head, I'm, I'll be panicking and then I'll go to the bottom and that'll be the end of me. Where's Steven at? <laughs> yeah, that'd be what it'd be. Paul, jump in and get him. And then we'd have to be rescuing him, too. I mean, he can swim, but them, them lakes, they're deceiving. They got them sinkholes in them. And Oh, yeah, they're quick. You see a whirlpool going, stay away from them. Mm -hmm. That's when they pull you under. That's like that one when we was at that one place where we saw the goose that was tangled up. It's got a lot of whirlpools in that water. It may not look it, but it, like I said, it's deceiving. You start seeing them, you're like, mm mm. I can go to Deep Creek and swim there, no problem. But and then of course you know a pool, you know a swimming pool. Yeah. You can swim in it, but it's just too crowded. You know? I, I've seen too many stinking horror movies with you know water stuff, and you mm -hmm. swim and you find icky stuff. I just can't. Yeah. I can't, I just or can't. some, yeah, and some people don't take care of them like they're supposed to. Then you get a cut because, like, you know, they don't take care of the light cover. And... How's the garden looking, Dave? It's doing good. Yeah, it's we need good. to get out. I need to get out there and do some weeding again, but it's just too wet. Mm. Some of it's half dry, some of it's half wet. Yeah. Well, I won't mind having a discussion with Amy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was simpler times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has been a long time. I'm doing a video, especially for me. I haven't. Probably not since. We went fishing. Probably was the last made last actual video. That's before the water was up. Yeah, oh. Hopefully Monday we'll have things back on. They're supposed to come out and hook up internet and phones supposed to be reconnected. Oh. Yeah, the house phone will be, and then we don't have to use phones for the internet. I can start saving my data. Yeah. Right now, it's only one, one GB of internet data, and that don't last very long at all. It's gone. Because it's a $35 plan. The $35 plan don't give you nothing. I mean, you can, you can have it gone within... Yeah. But if you go up to the 51, it gives you 8 gigabytes for $50. But if you do a auto pay, it's $40 a month because they knock $10 off. The only thing about that is you definitely got to make sure you got money in the bank so that they mm -hmm. take that every time it's due. Just one of those things. Yeah. So 
Oh yeah, I would like to go over there and just spend the day at that flea market just to see what actually in it because we only like I said we just went to one store and that was it and didn't even look and see what else was in there. It's what it's called the Great Smoky Mountain Flea Market. In severe deal. But it's like right when you come out of Pigeon Forge and you're getting ready to you're getting ready to go to the interstate. It's right before. But like I said, you have to go real, real early, get there right when it opens, and then just plan on spending the whole day because it will literally take you the whole day to go through it. And they're open Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. But that was, dude, that was a long, long time ago. We had a, um, trying to think what car, first car we had then. Might have been, what, the Monte Carlo like, or, or the Grand, no, the Grand, the Grand Prix, something like that. That's, that's when Creasy was still alive. Mm -hmm. That's one reason why we couldn't really look, because at the yeah, time we, we didn't really have her registered, and we really couldn't, I mean, we took her with us, but we never took her out. Like we did Jack. Mm. Oh, poor little Jack. Oh, it's still taking forever. See you, but it's something. Not really getting. They got some kind of formula or something you can give him and post a re nourishing. Yeah. He wants to get up and walk, baby. He just tried to a little bit to get up and walk. And they talk to him. He's cute. He's cute in the mama. He's got boo boos on his little backside. Trying to get him some ointment. <coughs> Let's say her, her overdried. That one up there. No, it's supposed to look like that. Same way you dry tobacco. You gotta wait until yeah. it gets brown and. Mm. I'm still getting used to this pipe again. It's. <laughs> Oh, I'm still, it's still going. I'm still getting to go, but. Time to go. Huh? Let my fall out. Hey, honey, boy. Mm -hmm. I like to have this cheese. <laughs> yeah. But I take a honey bun. That's my honey and my bun. <laughs> uh, and I forgot my onion after all. Forgot all about it. I might. Take some of that. You take more than that. Take a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, that oh, can't. Now that's goodness. that's out of the garden. That's mm, good green onion. Yes, that's out mm. of our property over there. Oh, Gary okay. dropped it off one. I thought it was the mail for a minute. Mm. I got. I said, well, "Where's the mail? Or where's where?" All right, so I got a sign something. I'm like, <laughs> I look down and said, "Oh, vegetables." Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a lot better. Whole lot better, and we got some. Um, we got some Zeke's. Zeke on your diet. Zeke's at the they house. Just, They're a wild, like a really potent onion. Yeah. 
Leeks. Yeah, Leeks, not Zeeks. I don't know why I said Zeeks, but they're Leeks. They're a different type of onion. Yeah. Big old onion. Mm hmm.